What is up everybody? It's your man, I do a barber here to talk about the five types of student barbers. Now, if you have gone to barber school, if you have finished barber school, or if you plan on attending barber school in the near future, these are the five types of barbers that you know or you will encounter, so look out for them. And if any of you guys have any stories, drop your stories in the comments below on any of the types of student barbers you have encountered in this video. Or if I missed anything, let me know. Maybe we'll do a part two. But the first barber is the hater. We all know the hater. He's always sneak dissing, never giving anyone any compliments, never showing any love, just always has something negative to say, never has anything positive to say, unless it's about himself, the hater. Hey, look at, look, look at these dudes, man. They don't know what they're doing out here, man. And they're getting all the cuts, man. I'm the one that should be getting all the cuts. Not them. And I'm the one that should be cutting those dudes' heads, man. Like, I'm the one that should be cutting their hair, man. This, this dude, he don't even know what he's doing with his shears, man. This, this dude over here, fading. Man, he he's been fading for like three minutes, man. I've been fading for like five years, man. This, this is crazy. Look at this dude over here. Over here. Holding the clippers all crazy. Don't know what he's doing, man. These dudes is whack, man. Why am I even in this school, man? They should be paying me. Yeah, it's a really good haircut. You know, you know the part out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I like the fade up on it. It's, it's a different style of part You know, it's a little bit new school, not just the traditional yeah, fortune style part talk. That's exactly. That's a good thing right there. Yeah. Hey, look, man. You see, he, he left some weight right there. You see, I, man, I would cut that totally different, man. If, if that dude was in my chair, man, I'd have him looking icy. Man, what do you think, man? You know, I, I think, you think you know, he's, he's, he's doing he's doing his best, man. You know, he's he's trying. You know, it's play his first flat top. I don't know why they always giving him the customers, man. I would have had that dude looking way better than that. Now the second barber is the know-it-all. We all probably have seen this barber, the one who thinks he should be running the school, the one who thinks he should be teaching the classes, he's just there for his license, nobody can tell him nothing, the know-it-all. How uh, ideal, how common, how revolutionary is that becoming, or is that something that's been tried? That's what I'm saying, so like me personally, I would, I. I feel like, not because it's a high-end establishment, but I do feel like that's where a lot of things are going. They are doing monthly programs for this. You know, you go Amazon where, you know, you got the... You don't pay attention? Hey, look, Jada, I'm just here to get my license, all right? I'm gonna get you in here, man. You, you know how I get you down, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever tried using guards? I mean, I've been barbering for like 10 years, I mean, I, I don't use guards. I mean, what's guards? I mean, what is this? The no guard challenge? I mean, I mean, this is just what I do. I mean, I've been coming here what, like five years? Mm -hmm. I've been lacing my man up. I mean, I mean, I got this. Man, whatever. Can't never tell you that. Look, look at these people, man. You see? They don't know what they're talking about. I'm the one that should be running this school. Yeah. I mean, I, well, man, I know much more than she. Who, who, who is she? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, do your cuts be fresh? They do. Yeah, exactly. They do. Now this third barber, we have all seen this barber in barber college. He's always ducking clients. He's always ducking haircuts. He went to barber college, but yet he don't want to cut hair. He came and paid all this money for barber college, but he's just scared to cut hair. The draft dodger. Hey man, you got a client up front. Oh, oh for real? I mean, I got some food in the microwave. Can, can you take care of him for me? Hey man, you got a client up front. Oh, for real? Um, I, I mean, I just got a text. Uh, my mama died. Uh, I gotta go clock out and go home. Okay. Hey man, uh, you know you got a long scissor guy coming in? Oh, for real? Yeah, I got one. Oh man, I just, I just remembered, man. I left my scissors at home. You borrow mine? Um, I mean, I'll go get it. I went to the doctor last week, and I got diagnosed with carpal tunnel, man. Dude, you were just on your phone, tweeting away. I, I know, but in my doctor's note, he said I, I can, I'm pre- You can use your phone, but you can't use scissors. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Can, can you take care of him for me? I got you. Thanks, man. All right. Hey, 
Man, that customer just came in, you know the one that's always picky? Yeah. Man, I wasn't cutting him, man. I had to get up out of here. Now this fourth barber, we have seen him in the barber college. You ain't cut hair all day. The only thing you probably cut was your fingernails. But this dude, he has just been cut nonstop, back to back all day. While you just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, watching YouTube videos, Netflix and chilling, the greedy barber. Man, I ain't had a cut all day. What about y'all? So nope. Ooh, man. Next. Well, it's also like setting the tone, like for when you. Man, he's been cutting all day. Now this fifth and final barber, we all know this dude. We have seen this person in the barber college, the person who always has to have the newest of the new product, newest equipment, newest tools, new, new everything. This dude has everything in stock. He's got stuff on order. He's got stuff on back order. This dude, he just can't stop spending his money and making everybody richer. The Clipper whore. Babies, I love you so much, babies. Oh, just what I would do, mm, babies. Oh, babies. Oh, hey, man, come check this out, man. Look at all these. Man, so what is all this stuff? What is this? You know, I got the, the Andis, I got the Oasters. The Supremes, man. Come on, the Supremes. Th these are $300. Hey, man, look at this. This is custom one of a kind Supreme. You ain't never gonna see these again. Don't man. these cost like $200? Hey, man, you know, this doesn't matter what they cost. It does not matter what they cost. Every baby here is, is worth every penny, man. Don't you got five kids with three baby mamas? Hey, it doesn't matter, man. I pay my child support. The toe pads, look at these joints, man. Look, look at that blade on there. Look at that. That's ceramic? Well, fine tooth ceramic, man. You got retro T cuts? Hey, dude, come on. You know, every person's different. Got the retro T cuts. Check these out, man. The new. The new Slim Lock Slim Lock Black. Black. Black, baby. What? Dude, you've been cutting for like one month. Why do you need all these clippers? Dude, what if someone wants to get balded out real fast? I gotta come in with these, you know what I mean? But what about the Octane? Hey man, these got different speeds. These only got one speed. This is just my this is just my Thursday babies. What? Then what do you this use for Thursday? Friday? What are you using for Friday? I got a whole other setup for Friday. Come on. This is ridiculous, man. You do not need all this. You only been cutting for like one month. You've been in school for 30 days, less than 30 days. And you got all these clippers? Hey man, you check out these new Andis, these new Andis guards. They're like the walls, but they're Andis, man. You already have the double magnetics. These are new. They look, they look kind of like the wall guards, and and you got the wall premium guards. But still, these are new. These are Andis. They're not wall. Andis. You see where it says Andis? Or they look. Hey man, check out these new Mitsutani shears. They're the Scorm shears, man. You know the Scorm guys. Rizal, I mean, come they're, on. they're cool, but the school just gave us some like last week. You didn't even know how to hold a pair of shears. Well, now I do, and look at these, Mitsutani. These are made for barbers. Look right there, it says made for barbers by barbers. How much do those cost? $600 a pair. You didn't even know how to use your clippers yet, and you ready to buy $600? I gotta look to the future, man. All right, I gotta man. think about the future. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have to give a special shout out to everyone at the Barber College who actually helped me shoot this video. It was quite fun. Stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna show you guys some outtakes because a lot of people were real scared to get on the camera, if you know what I'm saying. But in the comments, drop any barbers that you think I may have forgot. Like I said, there may be a part two. Initially, I was trying to do 10, but then I condensed it down to five. So who knows, part two might be coming soon. Browse the channel. There's plenty of great barber and content on this channel. Don't don't forget to subscribe for more great videos like this one. I'm gonna get out of here. It's been your man, I do a barber signing out. Oh, holla. Why are you not paying attention? Well, no, it has to be discreet. Oh, sorry, I gotta step in as the director. It's gotta be like. <laughs> <laughs> you have to discreetly, like, say it because. You know, like, I already know what I'm doing. My, my man, he's been coming to me for five years. We got this coordinated. It is what it is. Alright man, you can never tell you. And these teachers over here, they're always trying to teach me. I'm the one that should be teaching you in school.
You came back in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> I told you there was going to be a dialogue with this bitch. Okay, so are you going to edit that out? Huh? 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 No, we got to do it all the time. You'll be funny with his movies. See, if this guy would just stop hamming it up, if he would stop wasting my memory over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's always one guy. All right. You know what I'm doing when I do. I mean, he, he's been my client for like five years. I've been late here five years, right? right? Yeah. Do you have problems? So, no. yeah. Whatever, so man. I can't never tell you I got a name. Oh, this guy. Come on. What did you do? We're doing the thing. <laughs> God. <laughs> This guy is the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? I didn't even know he was a part of the scene. I know, that's why I kept I, going. I, I kept going too because I was like, please let this make sense, Kenny. Please let this make sense. Yeah, yeah I got a bank, so it's going to be this. Here this we go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We listening. Let, let me put the clippers down. Cold cuts. This guy, dude. I've been puffy in the 90s. All in the video. Dancing in the video. Action. Oh shit. Action. Hey man, you got a clock. <laughs> what is it? Action. Oh, Kenny, not like you like, like, like looking in the camera. <laughs> 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 I did this. Come on. 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 Come on.